my fellow mobile gamers in today's video i got some tips tricks to go over with you on how to beat chapter 1917 the hard difficulty boss weak to support type i literally just beat it this one was giving me trouble so i figured i would cover this one because i'm sure tons of other people have been having trouble yeah i'm just gonna go over my character uh, equipment my soul linker soul linker being the most important thing just some things that can help you that you may not have taken into consideration. So first thing is, it's weak to support type. So you're going to need a support type soul linker. I did it with a seven star heroic soul linker. So preferably probably a seven star. And again, we, I have the ability right now, we can make a legendary soul linker, which I'm super excited about future video. So stay tuned for that. But I wanted to try and do it with just a seven star heroic because I feel like enough people in the free to play area should at least have a seven star heroic, especially a support type. The other thing to keep in mind is that the boss does physical damage. So we're going to want to buff our physical defense. That was also something that was very important. So first thing, I'm just going to go over my equipment real quick. A lot of the equipment I have is level 140 with the uh, equip level reduction legendary substat. They actually just had like a little error and they reset our Samia special 14 day mission. So this is reset. So you can get these rewards again. So you could get like two more of these substats for free. So free to play players, you definitely should be able to get like two more of those. So like I said, I have, uh, this is 140 basically down to 120. Same thing with my top, um, my bottoms also. Uh, this is level 130. Uh, this is also just level 130, 130. And then we have this down to uh, from 140 to 120. These are really good. But overall, this is my basic stats. We had our combat power 930K, uh, magic attack 129 uh almost 130 um physical defense was 75,000. uh magic defense 93 so just some stats that you could take in uh to look all right so now let's go over to our soul linker because this is obviously the most important thing right here we did it with a vena one vena one was super helpful we used for her gloves we have the mystic gloves uh magic attack we have this at 41 we almost have this maxed out this is super important you need to have that as high as possible we went with uh, physical defense for the plate armor. Again, we're going up against physical attackers. Um, and then for the, the uh, necklace, we just had magic penetration because she's a magic dealer, magic damage dealer. Um, but you could put like a HP one too to increase her health, which is also good. Uh, for our passives, we had Soul Linker's magical attack increase. We have this maxed out at 40. And then we also had Soul Linker's normal skill cooldown decrease by 8.5%. So we don't even have this one maxed out. We only have that one at level 25. So I figured that was probably the best one. Um, another one you could do is like the physical defense. But again, you just want to put out as much damage as possible. You have to look at your character. As a Templar, I was struggling a little bit with the attack. Uh, if you're a mage or an archer, you might be good on attack and you might be struggling with defense. So it kind of depends on your needs. Um, and then for this one, we have the fire, gather energy, do a, an amount of damage, increases summoner and soul linkers crit rate and crit damage. I love this one. We have this one maxed out. Um, we had this maxed out, but I didn't even need to use this. Then we're going to look at our attribute ruins real quick. These are kind of lacking. Yours could be a lot better, but mostly we just wanted to go with um, attack. Basically, things that just increase our attack. So I have magical penetration for me and my soul linker, only level 10. Um, magic crit damage increase for both of us, me and my soul linker. We have this at level 22. Uh, magic penetration, again, level 22. Uh, magic attack this one was huge this one helped out a ton we only had this one at level 13 too so we definitely need to level that one up a bit uh and then this one was kind of like the wild card uh, i just didn't really have anything else to put so we have the one where uh recover hp upon enemy death this really doesn't help us against the boss but we do have it mostly for this uh for the soul linker hp recovery upon successful attack 2.15 percent uh, this is at level 24, so that helps out the Soul Linker just regenerating health over time. Every time that Soul Linker attacks and does damage, get a little bit of health back for your Soul Linker, so it just helps with survivability. All right, now we'll just go over our magic stones real quick. 
Uh, for this one, we just have magic defense. We really just went for the ones that had the physical defense or increased our attack. Some of these, like this one, you know, you could have went like physical crit evade. Uh, I just didn't want to drop down that far. Like there's some of them that I just don't have at a high tier level. So I kind of just went with that one. But we have like physical defense right here, tier 7, which was good. Physical crit evade, tier 7. Uh, magical evade, that didn't really matter. Magic crit success, magic attack all tier sevens to help us do more damage physical crit damage decrease physical crit evade uh magic defense magical evade magic attack this one helped uh magical evade that didn't help magic crit damage increase magic crit damage increase lots of crit damage increasing physical crit damage decrease you know most of my um stones are like tier sevens pretty much almost all of them i think except like one or two um we'll just go over our equipment we have this at plus 27 you definitely want to have your weapon enhanced as high as possible the higher the better we got it up to 27 so far a lot of the other ones are kind of low like 23 and 22 um, and even my accessories are really low at like 25 and 22 so those could definitely be increased our shoe again our shoe right, didn't really level up too much from last time <laughs> we still only have a level 22 heroic so that's kind of a little bit on the weaker side but you know other than that that was pretty much it it was a tough battle i will say this another thing to also keep in mind is don't forget to go to uh i can't even check the world map go to the other region and make sure here let me just exit out of this real quick because i just want to show you in case someone's new to the channel and they don't know but you have to make sure you get that five percent damage buff because that helps out a ton so we did that before our battle and that helped us out so if we go to our world uh just make sure you go to medium medium and uh scroll down to hero of the dark invasion make sure you claim your five percent buff it lasts for an hour you can do this once 24 hours i mentioned it before but i'm just going to mention it again as always that helps out a ton and i'm just going to go over my uh passive and active skills real quick most of mine are at 30 pretty much all 30 balanced at 30 we have magic attack at 31 this is my boss build uh 31 30 most of these are in the 30s the low 30s 32 30 32 30 31 uh again though it's really all about the soul anchor man you need to have a really strong soul anchor if you have a really strong soul linker, you'll be okay. But I hope you all enjoyed this video. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and good luck taking down that hard boss. I hope you do it. I'll see y'all in the next video. Stay happy, stay safe, my friends. Peace.